Cardano, the you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but really the 2018 high remains a pivotal level. Uh, you can see here, it's been back in place since July 26. We've been flirting with it uh, on several days. Afterwards, obviously it's an important resistance level. You'll see that also price has been hanging out at the 50 day simple moving average on a closing basis. So that reaffirms that resistance. A couple of things to point out, really, when you look at this, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to see what you get because I was looking at it and I still am seeing this as a, as a diamond formation. Okay. Now you'll see that there could be a bullish or bearish resolution at this point in terms of how, in terms of this being in a, in a topping and not in a bottom situation, the probabilities are higher that we move lower at this point. But when you add the fact that this actually could also be a head and shoulders top here with your neckline coming through here, it actually shifts my view for Cardano to, to the downside slightly uh, from where it had been. I had higher expectations, uh, which is not necessarily good in investing, but I had higher expectations for Cardano, uh, but it hasn't really lived up to that at all at this point. And then really when you look at it from a weekly basis, you'll see that getting above the, the 2018 high on a weekly closing basis has been a major problem. We did get above it in late June, early July, but that failed immediately. So even asking for a weekly close above 140 is still not gonna get you a high probability situation. As, as that tells you there from the beginning of July. So it, I, for now, I, I, I don't see a lot of upside on this. Um, if you do wanna own it, I would still wait for a weekly close above 140, uh, just to raise the probabilities to some extent in your favor of it being the real deal. On the downside, of course, we have the 200 day simple moving average, and then you have, uh, these lines from a symmetrical triangle pattern below. And then of course, this, this imposing support that comes down from the 61.8% retracement of the 2020, 2021 advance down into this area here, which corresponds to well, spot 90. That is your major support area for this. Like I said, you could say a head and shoulders top, you could see a diamond top formation. Either or has various implications for Cardano at this point. Uh, and I personally, you know, one of the things that I, I should point out here, though, that is positive uh, with regards to Cardano is that it is above the 200 day simple moving average. It is above the 50 week simple moving average. And it's not trapped below the May crash lows like other cryptocurrencies are. So on a relative basis, it is in a better position relative to the price structure, but it still is it's just not that attractive for me at, at this point. That's all. Yeah, I think uh, that's agreeable. But I think from a scalper's perspective, uh, Cardano is showing really good uh, promise for me. Right, so you're looking at a symmetrical triangle and the last time we discussed, I kind of drew this uh, descending triangle. And uh, the area that I'm currently looking at is this particular uh, supply zone ranging from 1.4 to 1.5 roughly. Beyond this, I'm looking at 1.6 and even the $2 level, right? But let me explain what I'm thinking is we either bounce off of this level or come down here, sweep the lows here, and then go higher. But typically I'm looking at a retest of these two levels. And like you just mentioned, even closing above this wouldn't necessarily push me on uh, toward being bullish on Cardano. Uh, I think, Generally, going above uh, the 1.9 level, maybe then I would be uh, I would be bullish in Cardano. This would make me uh, jump on Cardano, but closing above 1.5 and 1.6 wouldn't uh, you know instill confidence in me, at least for Cardano. So, yeah, from a short term perspective, I'm looking at a. Sixteen, ninety, twenty percent, or a twenty-five percent upswing. 
right? But from a long term perspective, I'm not that happy about Cardano, right? And from an on chain perspective, it does look good uh, up to 1.37, 1.42, 1.48. 1 yes. So this kind of coincides, this particular resistance level, which ranges from 1.38 to 1.48, kind of coincides with the supply zones uh, upper limit that I've marked out here, which is 1.45. Uh, but anything beyond that would be an uphill battle for Cardano. Yeah, I think uh, the support levels seem really uh, good. So I don't see any uh, spike in selling pressure that kind of pushes it down to this uh, the $1 level. Right. I don't see it happening anytime soon. I think it's going to consolidate a lot um, if we're bearish, but if it's bullish, 1.45 seems like a good level. Yeah, I think it, I think con consolidating some kind of price churn in that range is probably what's going to happen. I think it's yeah. interesting to note that it's one of those cryptocurrencies that rarely ever closes at the low or at the high of the day. Uh, it yeah. always says it. You never get one of those solid closes, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to read the chart. You know, because you obviously, you know, sign of power either ways when you get the close right at the low or just above the low. And with Cardano, that's basically never happens, so it makes it a little tougher to read the charts. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I feel you. Uh, it happens even in XRP as well. Yeah. Okay, let's.